how can someone practice spirituality or spiritual thinking from a younger age interesting example i'll share with you today is of narad ji the narad ji in the bhagavatam relates the story of his past life he says he was a dasi putra what is the right source of knowledge and how can one always practice them to avoid negative thoughts i have so many questions today i'll ask all of them all right <laughs> In your Power of Thought book, you mention erroneous knowledge and incorrect beliefs as one of the reason of negative thinking. What is the right source of knowledge, and how can one always practice them to avoid negative thoughts? Yes, uh, Harry. Negative thoughts are troubling people. I am good for nothing. People have rejected me. Life is hopeless. I am a disaster. The world is in a mess. Now when these negative thoughts arise and then they start getting repeated, people go into dejection, desolation, depression, hopelessness. Yeah. That is why it is important to get to the root of negative thinking. and the root i have mentioned in the book i have uh, quoted maharshi patanjali he says viparyo mithya gyana mata durupam pratishtham the reason we engage in negative thinking is erroneous knowledge or wrong knowledge yes and that stems from defective beliefs yes so to give you an example one such erroneous thinking is over generalization now let us say that kavita rejected dinesh he is mad so dinesh generalizes everybody will reject me nobody is going to accept me now that thinking is defective yeah but it has led to negative thinking in dinesh in the the seed has been thrown. yes yeah like that is emotional thinking what is emotional thinking i feel the project will fail that is why it will fail yeah why because i feel it negative thought has come <laughs> right? yeah so but have taken the feelings too seriously yeah. i feel that he is going to cheat so he is definitely going to cheat now there is no real basis it's just a feeling but that person has taken it seriously yeah and then another such thinking is personalization my daughter engaged in inter religious marriage i am responsible for it <laughs> the daughter could do so many things she's a grown up yeah. she's in charge of her own life but we have put the blame completely on ourselves yes likewise there is polarized thinking polarized thinking means all or nothing i got a c in this exam so now i am a failure that means either i should have got an a plus or i am a failure but the fact is that life goes through so many grades it's not that everybody who doesn't get an a plus is a failure but this person has created that kind of no. belief yeah so there are various such defective thought structures ji what we need to do is first of all recognize the thought which means become aware so the moment a thought doesn't seem good you can immediately suspect that this is negative thinking So moment the thought makes you feel uneasy makes you feel bad and rather than pointing fingers in the world which people do instead of that we should look inwards am i engaging in negative thinking beautiful wow so the second thing about such thoughts is that they are automatic which means that they naturally come to the mind hmm yeah and uh 
we need to become aware of these thoughts yeah and after that we challenge the basis of the thought wow so for example the thought has come i am a hopeless failure in my life now challenge the basis i succeeded out there i succeeded out there i succeeded here why should i jump to the conclusion that i'll be a hopeless wow, failure beautiful so when you challenge the basis yeah the nature of these thoughts is the moment you spot them yeah their poison is dispelled just like when i was a little child for a couple of years i was living in pune stand class 5 6 7 it had red mud and it was you know there were a lot of scorpions and uh, centipedes etc so we were little children boys at that time in the summer vacations one of our past times began for a couple of days we would go out in the field and we find a boulder we would lift it up hmm. and the insects under that yeah the moment they were exposed to light they would run here and yeah. there yeah yeah so that is the nature of those insects they can't tolerate the light and these negative thoughts you to have the same the moment you shine the light of the truth they will run away swami ji sometimes accidentally we uh, think positive and sometimes reading such books yeah. it really motivates your mind and we can do it with i i think i have been benefited with science of mind management and i'm so excited about this book i have already re- started reading it now so i think all of you can be benefited as soon as you reach the, uh, read this book and with repeatedly practicing it's a, it's a really really amazing swami ji i have so many questions today i'll ask all of them all right go ahead so my next question swami ji is in your power of thought book you mentioned the need for spiritual thinking with so much focus and material knowledge these days that help one earn a living spirituality is often a neglected topic and as a result people realize their true purpose of life very late or sometimes don't even know it how can someone practice spirituality or spiritual thinking from a younger age our intellect has got various dimensions to the intelligence ji like for example you came with a natural gift of musical intelligence and then you developed it ji so you can immediately spot ye taal garbad ho rahi hai ye swar alag ho gaya hai <laughs> yes absolutely you know, whereas for somebody who doesn't have that kind of intelligence so just to match the taal is such a big struggle yeah so people have now scientists have understood the various dimensions of our intellect hmm. and as we start growing in childhood the first intelligence to develop is physical intelligence yeah we don't realize it but even to sit up requires intelligence you see the child tries and then falls down Yeah. and then standing up again the child tries and then falls down so they have to exert their intelligence i need to control my muscular skeletal system yeah and then after that as four year olds they start going to school now the analytical intelligence develops understand yeah. this problem analyze it and come up with a solution ji yeah. so that is the focus in the primary school and the middle school and then they reach adolescence yeah now life becomes complex so many relationships so many emotions and forces <laughs> so a, a new a different kind of intelligence becomes important this is emotional intelligence to become aware of your own emotions to empathize with the emotions of others and to master your emotions means i am feeling anger but i will keep it suppressed for a little child that's difficult but in adolescence it becomes important to control these emotions yeah. then as people come into early adulthood yeah that is when spiritual intelligence becomes important 
for some people, not everyone, they start questioning, what is the purpose of life? Why did I come into this world? Who am I in the first place? So these questions could arise in somebody at childhood as well. But in general, they arise in people in early adulthood. Now, your question is that can we grow spiritual intelligence in childhood? Or in a younger age? Because, younger because age. Swamiji, I got it very late in my life because of my maybe my profession. I was doing shows. I got into limelight at very uh, young age. But spiritual gyan mujhe aap se mila hai. Aur wo bhi ab ja ke char paanch saal pehle ek, uh, because of something happened in my life. My mother passed away as I told you. But this is the question for younger generation that how it can start at a younger generation. That's right. So, any intelligence, if it is exercised, it can be developed. Absolutely. So, a child also has that potential. Ji. If the child associates with spiritual personalities, yeah. that environment makes the child start thinking about these questions early in life. So, we have the example of Dhruv and of Prahlad. In childhood itself, they went towards Bhagavan. Incredible. The interesting example I'll share with you today is of Narad Ji. The Narad Ji in the Bhagavatam relates the story of his past life. He says he was a Dasi Putra. And once for Chatur Mas, some Mahatmas came to stay in their master's house. Okay. So for four months, these Mahatmas, they stopped moving. They were residing there and doing satsang every night. Hmm. And Naraji was a child, he would sit and watch them. He could not understand everything, but he liked the vibrations. And they were pleased with his uh, sincerity. They would give him some prasad. And slowly Narad's heart started getting purified. And then after the four months were over, these Mahatmas they left. So Narad felt so disturbed, was missing that divine company. Now, as destiny would have it, his mother got bitten by a snake and she passed away. Hmm. So now Narad had no attachment. He left. And after a little while, Bhagwan gave him darshan. So, he was sitting in meditation and Sri Krishna appeared and gave him darshan. Wow. So, with that darshan, he felt thrilled and he opened his eyes and Sri Krishna was standing there. And after a few minutes, Sri Krishna disappeared. And now, Narad became anxious. How will I see Sri Krishna again? He roamed around to all the holy places. Years went by, 40, 50 years, but he was not getting that darshan again. So, finally he thought, my life is useless. What is the use? He heard an Akashvani, a voice from the sky. Sri Krishna said, Narad, I gave you that darshan only to encourage you. But for a second time, you will need to be qualified for it. So, carry on doing sadhana. Don't be disappointed. In your next life, you will always be singing my glories. Wow. So, Narad was an example of somebody who in childhood, having got that environment, cultivated spiritual intelligence and moved on the spiritual side. That potential is there in children. That's beautiful, Swamiji. Swami, uh, I used when as a as a child, I used to go to in. I was born and brought up in Delhi, and I used to go Durga Temple in uh, Delhi. So, वहाँ पे मंगलवार को they used to give prasad for Hanumanji. So, I used to sit in a queue, and I used to like do like this on the stairs of temple, जहाँ पे सब beggars के बच्चे भी होते हैं, तो मैं उनके बीच में खड़ा हो जाता था कि मुझे प्रसाद मिल जाए. <laughs> तो तो भक्त लोग जो आते थे वो प्रसाद दे देते थे 
तो वो शायद इतने वो प्रसाद इतना स्वाद लगता था बूंदी का तो मैं हर मंगलवार वेट करने लग गया मंगलवार है फ्री में प्रसाद मिलेगा तो अब टॉफ़ी की जगह फ्री में प्रसाद मिलेगा मंगलवार को तो वो हैबिट कई साल चलती गई और आज मैं आपके सामने उसी का शायद नतीजा है कि वो कल्टिवेट हो गया मेरे अंदर एंड वो शायद आज वो एक रास्ता बनते बनते भले मैं म्यूज़िक में चला गया मगर वो एक जगह रह गई कि वो बाकी मिलना था तो शायद ये इट्स एग्जाम्पल इट्स ग्रेट एग्जाम्पल एंड सो वेल एक्सप्लेन स्वामी जी